Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review today. Going back to our friends over at New Riff, Dustin. Oh, yeah. This one, the Winter Whiskey, which now is a regular release, bottled in bond, 50% ABV. Annually, yeah. forgive me, Dustin. Uh, what makes this one unique, Dustin? Uh, mash bill, 65% corn, 20% malted oats, 7% pale ale malt, 5% steel cut raw oats. Yeah. I used to eat those, lose weight. And 3% chocolate malt, which is like a uh, signet. Yeah. And orangey. Yeah. So the story, that, I, as I understand it, is one of the guys for New Riff actually used to... Age at least four years. So what I've been told, Mike, is one of the guys who's part of the New Riff team actually came from Samuel Adams. So he kind of brought some of that beer background. And so this is a whiskey that's trying to show off essentially a beer mash bill version of bourbon. So totally different, something you know I've never seen before. You know, I've seen people finish something in a stout barrel. Yes. I, I again, Signet used chocolate malt, but I mean, yes. steel cut oats. Steel cut, steel cut raw oats. Yeah. And pale ale malt and malted oats. Yeah. And not small portions, man. Twenty-seven and five. I mean, so it's it's you know a third of what this whiskey is. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, interesting thing to get to. I am a huge fan, as we talked about before, Sam Adams. I'm not a huge beer drinker anymore, but when I was, yeah. I think I tried like 20 different variations of Sam Adams, yeah. like Boston Lager, Boston Ale, Black Lager, Black Lager. I mean, there was a couple they had of an oatmeal stout for yeah. sure. They had a bunch of good ones. I always like Sam Adams. I thought that guy was a cool nerd because he let him, you know, he had the whole dunking machine and the advertisements, which I'm sure was a ploy. But you know what? If you can laugh at yourself, why not? I'll buy one of your beers, <laughs> especially beer. It's cheap. Yep, it's coming back. All right, so good color here, New Riff. Um, I, this is a bourbon, if I haven't mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah. So, 50, 50, or 50% ABV, bottle and bond. Whew. I'll tell you what. Good stuff. Yeah. It's sweet. Got a nice mint, which you get a lot with New yeah, Riff. Yeah. New Riff is a very minty. They, like, they, they, they generally they, use a lot of rye, and I yeah. hear they're not, so I don't really know where it's coming from. It could but it's just there. Be, could it, I, you know, I'm with you. But again, I, I have never had a New Riff where I Although, didn't think that. You know, I think it's just kind of the oak cask they're using, and however they're storing them, that kind of gives it... a a mint note regardless of what you're getting. You know what? I, I You may be right, but it may be those oat notes. I'm getting a lot of oats. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting oatmeal cookie kind of notes. It, as you know, I eat oatmeal every day. Mm -hmm. Baker's chocolate for sure coming through. And I've had tried different type of oats throughout my life. There is a lot of oat in this for sure. <laughs> and just like beer barley. You know, like, yeah. like at the top, like the foam of the head of a beer kind of. It's subtle on the nose, but I am definitely still picking up a little hint of that dark, dark chocolate. And a sweet, you know, it, it's backbone yeah. of a sweet bourbon. Classic vanilla comes through and caramel are coming through mm -hmm. like you get on a bourbon. Classic sweet bourbon. It's got that classic New Riff kind of funkiness on the finish that I'm assuming has to do with their rick house and the oak barrels they use. Just very very soft, easy to take. Oh, New Riff always felt like kind of a light <clears throat> spirit to me. Yes. I mean, as far as nosing, yes. Yes, as far as nosing. Smells rich and oily though. Mm -hmm. it's, it smells oily. I know that's a weird thing, but it smells oily. It's almost like Lafroig. Like the Froig's kind of thin for an isle, for an isle of scotch, but it's it's dense and medicinal and smoky. It, yeah. It's two different things. Like you can be smoky and not dense. Where in this case, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You could be you could be all those things and still come off a little bit soft of a spirit. Every time I can't believe this is bourbon, man. It is oaked. Oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies, all day, every day. Might have be some raisin sneaking in here somehow. Man, I love it. It is such a unique, different play on whiskey. It's such a con like the cold winter concept. I know we're having it here in the middle of summer. I guess in the end of spring. I can't remember. But middle of spring. Mmm, it's killing it. Chocolate oatmeal. Maybe a little bit of like um, molasses. Beautiful. Wow, it's different. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> it's like it's like Quaker oats, like plain Quaker oats. With honey. I can see that. And then you got that bourbon sweetness on top of it with a little bit of that sweet caramel. Mm-hmm. 
I really don't think it being the mint or anything, you know, on the palate mm -hmm. at all. I mean, and then, I, I mean, I guess kind of, you know, on the end, it kind of sachets into some light chocolate slightly. You know what I mean? I, I, I finish, I, I'm getting Baker's dark chocolate. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see some, like, chocolate chips in the oatmeal. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like oatmeal and honey. Like, that seems like a lot of it to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honey is a good call out. Yeah. I get that. I was thinking, like, simple syrup or something, actually, more so than honey. But, yeah. And it does kind of sound weird, but almost like a super light peanut butter. I know peanut butter is a super in, intense smell, but almost like a like a wisp of it. I could see a hint of nut, a nuttiness here, just a hint. But it's yeah, it's very different nutty. I mean, I would I wouldn't think beam or something like that here. It's almost like whipped or like you know. I mean, maybe you know, it's, more it's, it's, it's almost like a like a like a like a cupcake that had like a peanut I, butter icing yeah, on it. I would be more like in the realm of like a toasted walnut or almond butter type thing. It's definitely unique. That 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 malted. Um, what is it? Cho uh, it's not chocolate. Um, chocolate malt. There's chocolate malt in there. It is giving me this beautiful chocolate note on the finish. It's not up in the up front, but it's, it's as it finishes, I get chocolate and I get a hint of maybe raisin. Man, it was almost like a twinge of like dark sponge cake with some like okay. powdered chocolate over top of it on the finish. I could see that, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe some dates or something sneaking in there. You know what I'm saying, raisins. I don't think anything like that leathery, but I mean, shoot, man, I could be wrong. I mean, I, 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 yeah, I'm absolutely kind of just fumbling around in the dark here. Yeah, this is a this is honestly one of my favorite things they've done. It, it blew my mind when I got to try this one, and I went out and bought multiples. Oh man, the water almost made it almost a bubble gum chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> It and bubblegum chocolate's a weird thing to say, but it's it's, it's like a sweetness from bubblegum that you get like from the bourbon, from the corn. Um, cocoa puffs with a little bit of fruity pebbles in them. Like I mean, I don't want the fruity pebbles, but they have the uh, cocoa it, puffs. I'm telling you, there's like a whisper of like fruity pebbles they just kind mm. of sprinkled on the top. And the co there. When, you, when you said cocoa puffs, that is exactly that smell. Yeah. That light, airy cocoa note. Yeah. <laughs> it's just beautiful, man. What you know is going to turn your milk colors. Oh, yeah. That's going to be some good milk after the cereal's gone. Yeah. Just made me hungry, Mike. So does Signet. There is almost that creme brulee style note to this. Or tiramisu, I'm sorry. There's almost okay. that, that, I said sponge cake with like powdered sugar over there. There's almost that tiramisu note oh, to man. that. Creme brulee. It's almost like cocoa covered creme brulee. That's what I was trying to say. I mean, it's... It's almost a red raspberry there, too. Yeah, with a lot of oak. I mean, it's, it's oaky. There's that, too. Which is kind of surprising. Again, New Riff, not generally on the oakier side. Uh, four years, you're not going to get a ton of oak on a bourbon anyway. But it's definitely got a nice... I think it's the fact that the oak is so... It plays so well with these other elements that it enhances that oak note. With water, I kind of forgot about the oatmeal part of it. Yeah, the oatmeal has kind of faded a bit. You're right. I've just gone straight into all the chocolate, all the cocoa. But it is still kind of like an oatmeal cookie in the sense that oatmeal cookies are not as sweet. And this is not as sweet as some bourbons are. Initially up front, it's a sweet, but on the finish, the mid palate, it's a much drier uh, bourbon. For sure. Mm. I, mean, I would definitely call this a dry bourbon, especially after the initial up front punch sweetness, because it is sweet up front, as bourbon should be. All right, Dustin. Whiskey swore time. I really enjoy this whiskey. My enjoyment of this whiskey is probably two points higher than my whiskey score. But I'm going to get it an 87. Okay. Which is a little bit higher of an ABV. I like a little bit of ABV with my new riff because of the mouthfeel tends to come off medium thin to me. But a lot of things I like here, my enjoyment of this is way higher. But Yeah. I'm actually struggling to take any points off for the ABV. I generally agree with you. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, this is drinking more than 100. It's drinking viscous enough for me. It's got enough alcohol punch even with a drop of water in it. Yep. Where you at? I'm going to go on the low end and go 88, but I was debating an 89. I really like this. It's a good whiskey. Are you ready for this, Mike? Give it to me. 50 bucks. Like, if I could pick up more of these, you man. You get I the best $50 new riffs of anybody that I know. <laughs> I mean, every time you come over here, one of these new riffs I'm impressed with, they're like, how much was it? He's like, $47. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you got to be on a mailing list and you got to, like, no three Steves. Well, you know, actually, so I walked into New Riff. Got to be verified with IDs. I, I was driving down there during... You know, a, Steve. I was, honestly, believe it or not, I was just... 
I was going to Party Source on Black Friday because I figured there might be some deals, right? You don't want to see what these details does. You got to fifty dollars. People were leaving, coming out of the new from all these people coming out with bags, and I was like, there must be something there. I walked in, saw this thing, and I was like, perfect. Since the beginning of humanity, if we have seen other humans running with stuff in bags. <laughs> we go running to wherever they got stuff with bags. <laughs> You're like, why is everybody buying something there? There must be something for sale. I need it. I want it. my stuff in a bag. <laughs> yeah. Like everybody else. I went in thinking they're going to tell me, no, sorry, man, you, you didn't sign up for something. I walked in there like, oh, here's whiskey on display. I'm like, oh, whiskey for me. Awesome. Anyway, those are our thoughts on this whiskey. If you guys had a chance to try this one, let us know what you guys think. Dan Dustin, until next time, what do we wish the folks? Happy, happy chocolate drinking. We'll see you then.